What have been the most significant objections to your book, Darwin's Black Box? The objections to my book have been pretty much twofold. Uh, one is that although irreducibly complex systems can't be put together directly, perhaps they could have been put together indirectly. In the book I use as an uh, example of an irreducibly complex system, a mouse trap. And somebody might come along and say, well, certainly you can't get a mouse trap directly by a gradual Darwinian process, but maybe it, the mouse trap started out as a doorstop and then turned into something else and, and something further. And that's possible. You know, essentially there are an infinite number of uh, imaginary routes uh, that you could uh, postulate. But so far, nobody has been able to come up with even one <laughs> for some of the, uh, for any of the biochemical systems that I, I mentioned in the book. And uh, I think the onus is on the people who propose that there are these indirect routes to show what they might be. Otherwise, we are in, in grave danger of letting our imaginations run away with us. The second objection, um, most common objection uh, to my argument is that, well, it's not really an objection, it's that uh, a number of people say, in the future, Darwin, Darwinian processes will be shown to be able to have, been, have produced these biochemical systems. And, well, you know, that's, I have to admire these people's, um, these people's uh, faith in, in Darwinian processes, but it's a much less persuasive uh, argument or position to say that you think an unknown process uh, will, uh, you know, that a uh, Darwinian evolution will have, will be able to, to uh, be shown to have produced complex systems by an unknown, in an unknown fashion. Uh, but currently we are, be we had been told up until recently that it was already shown and that Darwinian proce processes were already known to have been, produced these complex systems. And uh, uh, so for both of these objections, it, it's the old, I think it's the, the um, it just shows that you really can't convince somebody who doesn't wish to be convinced. And if somebody, you know, if somebody doesn't want to be persuaded of evidence for design, there are still options for them to, to, uh, to take. But overall, uh, in the year and a half since my book has come out, I haven't really met any good scientific objections that have made me reconsider my own position.